There were families in the past who should be means of emulation for us. They were so devoted and so committed to the cause of the Imams of their time that they are truly inspiring. One of these families is the family of Ayan. They had men as well as women whose contributions to our faith today is enormous. And I'll give you some examples. The grandfather of this family was a Christian man. Some have said that he was a monk, he was a priest. But what is for certain is that he was Christian. His name was Sun Sun. This Christian man has a son. His son's name is Ayan. Ayan is taken as a prisoner by the Muslims. He's introduced to Islam. He embraces the religion, but he does not follow the path of the Ahlul Bayt. Ayan has 10 children. These children convert to the school of the Ahlul Bayt thanks to their sister. The sister's name was Ummul Usud, the mother of lions. And she truly was the mother of lions. She becomes a follower of the Ahlul Bayt. She becomes a Shia thanks to Abu Khalid al Kabuli. Abu Khalid al Kabuli, I don't want, to, want you to be confused by these names, but do bear with me for a second. Abu Khalid was a disciple of Imam Zain al Abidin. Allahumma salam. And if I were to use modern lingo, I would say he was responsible for recruitment. He was the one who would go out and pick individuals with potential, help them see the way, guide them to the path of the Ahlul Bayt, and bring them into the fold. Abu Khalid al Kabuli is introduced to Umm al Usud, the daughter of Ayan, the son of Sansan, or Sun Sun, the Christian monk, and he converts her to Tashayyam. She then converts her nine brothers. Who were the nine brothers? The chief of this family and the most learned of these brothers is Zurara ibn Ayan. There were others, like I said, his entire family, his brothers all converted. So there was Zurara, there was Himran, there was Bukair, there was Abdul Rahman. All of these brothers became a solid unit devoted to Ahlul Bayt and the Imams of their times. And they were the most prominent family of companions during the era of Baqirain, meaning the time of Imam al-Baqir and Imam al-Sadiq alayhim as-salam.